Today, we are gonna talk about how and why we adjusted the brake pedal ratio on our extra parts drag truck. We are gonna remount our brake master cylinder sans the brake booster. Before we start making our adapter to get rid of the booster, we have to calculate what our pedal ratio was and what we want it to be when we're all done. The first thing we're gonna do is measure our brake pedal. I have it right here. So the way you measure your pedal ratio is you go from the center of your pad to the pivot point. This one is 14 inches. And then you measure from the master cylinder rod to the center of the pivot point, and this is three inches. So this pedal has a 4.6 pedal ratio. We want something closer to five or six. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our master cylinder pivot point up three quarters of an inch. The way we're gonna move our pivot point is this has a half inch bore. So we're gonna take a half inch bolt and make a short bolt that we can bolt through the pedal that has enough thread sticking out that we can put this on and put a nylock nut so it doesn't fall off on the outside of it. And once we move that up three quarters of an inch, we're also gonna to wanna to move our master cylinder up three quarters of an inch. So when we make our adapter to go from the brake booster to the master cylinder, we want to move where the master cylinder mounts up three quarters of an inch. First thing we have to do is make our master cylinder adapter. Okay, so now we have our adapter plate made and I just made this out of quarter inch steel. We are gonna drill our holes for our master cylinder. Originally, the master cylinder was centered, so we're just gonna move that up by three quarters of an inch, drill our two holes for our master cylinder bolts and the big hole for the master cylinder bore in the center. Okay, we have our adapter plate all bolted in here and the master cylinder is actually gonna have to bolt through the bracket that is the pedal assembly. So rather than cut this out and take strength out of that pedal assembly, I'm just gonna drill that hole out and put the bolt from the inside there. And then this one will go through the firewall as well. I have to trim out the top here so the master cylinder will fit. And then we can leave, we're gonna leave the master cylinder out of the way for right now because we need to go ahead and get our firewall painted. Now that we have our master cylinder mounted three quarter of an inch higher, we can go ahead and move the pivot point in our brake pedal up three quarters of an inch as well. That is gonna give us a pedal ratio of 6.2. Our length from the pivot point to the middle of the brake pad pedal is 14 inches. Currently, the length from the middle of the pivot to the pin is three inches, which gives us a pedal ratio of 4.66. After we move it up three quarters of an inch, that's gonna give us two and a quarter between the pivot point and our pin, and that is gonna give us a pedal ratio of 6.2, which is much more friendly for manual brakes. According to Summit Racing, you want a pedal ratio between five and seven. And most of the 
different places I checked, that was a pretty common theme between five and seven. I'm shooting for six right in the middle. I'm not gonna split hairs over trying to drill a hole so that it's at two and whatever, 1947 five hundredths or whatever. We're gonna go two and a quarter, move it up three quarters of an inch and that'll give us 6.2. Okay, I was afraid that was gonna happen. Uh, we're not gonna have enough room to get our bolt in there, so we're gonna have to go ahead and remove the original pivot. Now, as a bonus, we can use either hole. Our brake pedal push rod, brake master cylinder push rod is Secure, it's not going anywhere, it doesn't have a lot of slop in it, but it's still free to move around, so it'll pivot no problem. We've increased our pedal ratio. Now that is also gonna increase the throw on the pedal, so make sure you account for that if you're gonna do this. If you have limited throw, I have almost 14 inches of throw on the, the pedal in that truck, so I should be just fine. The only other thing I have to figure out is I have to figure out a pedal stop so that this rod which is no longer going to be hooked in the master cylinder doesn't fall out and we lose the brakes altogether. See you soon!